in 2003, right after shock and awe, I went over to the Pentagon and I spoke with a, journal, a general there who was very generous with his time and for an hour, uh, I said, you know, this is the moment, like right now, this is the moment. You've got to bring the women in and they've got to be completely integrated with what we're doing there. And because the Iraqi women, they represent you know, half of the talent pool. So you've got to draw from 100%. And these women want to be involved. You don't have to twist their arms. But the most important is that they know where the disaffected 16-year-olds are with the, with the guns under their mattresses. Now, the general, who was a very smart guy, he was a good guy, he, he looked at me and he said, thank you so much for your time, Ambassador Hunt. I really appreciate your coming in and, and explaining all of this. And I want to assure you that when we get the place secure, we'll be able to think about women's issues. And I thought to myself, actually, I'm not talking about breast cancer. <laughs> yeah? I'm talking about security. But he, like, like I said in, in this video, he was looking through a different lens. And so it just didn't fit. He couldn't make what I was saying fit with his idea of security. So this morning, what is it we're trying to solve for? Look, you all are risking your lives in these wars. And you're, you're, if you're not dying, you're seeing your friends dying. You're seeing them maimed physically and mentally. And with all the effort that we're putting in, I don't know if you know that a third of the peace agreements are failing within five years. So this is a disaster. And if, in fact, we had all the wars that we've got and we were doing everything that we could possibly do to stop them, that would be the grounds for hopelessness. The good news is, we're not doing everything we know how to do. And that's the possibility here, because there are these untapped resources. So that's why you care. Because if, in fact, you can figure out, and, and this takes some doing, if you can figure out how you bring in the untapped resources of the women in a situation, it's going to help you achieve your mission. But, and I know this isn't how you make decisions, but it actually gives you an edge in your career because this, this isn't going away. This issue is not going away. If you look at Bosnia and you take it through Iraq and you come to today, this idea of inclusive security is becoming more and more talked about, more and more understood. So I appreciate being here this morning. And the last thing I want to leave you with is that we're not talking about of the women, by the women, for the women. We're talking about security.